After many years of issues and accidents during police pursuit chases, the Santa Maria Police Department has a new police pursuit policy. Commander Hansen says the Santa Maria Police Department encounters multiple pursuit chases every week through the streets of Santa Maria. We value our public out there, we value our officers, we don't want to get somebody hurt unnecessarily. That's what it's about. The idea behind the new pursuit policy is to provide accountability. After knowing the road conditions, the watch commander has the final independent decision on whether or not the officer on duty should continue the pursuit chase. Hansen says the value of this new policy comes in taking away the decision making from the officer who is involved with the pursuit and putting it in the hands of a person who can make a detached judgment on whether or not to continue the chase. Commander Hansen explains the many factors that go into the watch commander's ultimate decision. That's one of the required pieces of information that an officer has to put out is the road conditions. The build of years of injured and killed police officers in pursuit chases led to SMPD's new pursuit policy. We've seen this over the years. We've seen officers killed and injured. Commander Hansen says that once a police chase has ended, the next steps of action are to research information on the driver, report the license plate number, and contact other nearby police departments. Reporting live and local, David Kaplan, KSBY News.